In this presentation, we're going to review the opccloud.net product feature to connect data sources using a standard internet connection to remote OPC clients, again over a standard internet connection, both at the data source and destination. The data sources that are possible for the opccloud.net product feature are OPC servers, OPC clients, Visual Studio.net applications, Microsoft Excel, databases like SQL Server, Oracle, Access, and MySQL, and controllers like DCS systems and PLCs. To enable the OPC Cloud.net product feature, it's very simple. Using the OPC Systems Configure application on the data source where we're hosting the data. We'll go to Configure Live Data Cloud and select the local service. We'll select to enable hosting and point it to a fixed IP address or registered domain name or network node name that will be routing the data for us. We also specify a hosting name that's unique for this routing service for this particular data source PC. So my PC is my local PC that I want to host data from and the opcsystemserver.com is a service running in Texas where we do have a fixed IP address. We are now ready to use the OPC Cloud.net product feature on any PC that has a standard internet connection and an OPC client installed on it. I'm going to use a third-party OPC client from the OPC Foundation called the OPC Foundation Sample Client. If you've installed opcsystems.net on any computer, you'll see this under the program group opcsystems.net tools. I'll use the server pull-down to select Browse, and I'll select the local OPC server opcsystems.net. In all connections with OPC, we're going to use local OPC connectivity. I'll right-click on the opcsystems.net OPC server and select Create Subscription. This would be creating a group in your third-party OPC client. If I want to browse the local OPC system service and all of its tags and OPC servers, I would select local. If I want to browse a remote network node name, I select network. And here we see we have two nodes, a registered domain name and also a fixed IP address. To include IP addresses and registered domain names in your browse interface, we'll go to the directory using the Windows Explorer under Program Files, Open Automation Software, and opcsystems.net. In that directory, you will find a text file called networknodes.txt. If we double click on that, it'll open it with Notepad. Any network nodes, IP addresses, or registered domain names that you include in this file will already be included in the browse interface when you select the network option for the OPC servers. So this is a way you can include remote OPC system services that aren't part of your regular domain. I'm now going to browse that system in Texas. And if I wanted to, I could connect to the OPC servers on that system in Texas, or I could select opcsystems.net tags on that system in Texas. What we're going to do instead is actually connect to my own PC that I hosted earlier, and I'll select Remote SCADA Hosting, and I see I have two nodes that are currently connected to that subscription node. I'm going to select My PC is the one that I added, and now I'm going to select either my opcsystems.net tags on that PC or direct OPC to browse OPC servers on that computer. I'm going to browse the Kepware OPC server, and we'll just select an item out of that. And I'll select Next and Done. And now I have a subscription to the Kepware OPC server running on my PC with a standard internet connection. And on another PC, I'm actually able to connect to that with any other computer with a standard internet connection. Now security is included for free with this and we have other videos to describe how to restrict users from being able to browse and access OPC items on your particular computer. So this way both on the client side and the server side you're able to connect with a standard internet connection to share data remotely. For more information on opcclient.net, which includes the opccloud.net feature for free, visit the website livedatacloud.com. To download a free trial to try it for yourself, visit completescada.com 
or opcsystems.com. There you'll find more information on the complete SCADA suite, opcsystems.com, with online training videos, help files, and our contact information under the contact page.